Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at geometric probability. Um, so if you remember, probability tells you the percentage chance that some event will occur, right? So usually what we do is we take the number of ways that something can happen and divide it by the total number of possible outcomes and that gives us the probability of a certain event. Well, for geometric probability, what we're going to do is take that same concept but apply it to shapes, um, so things like lines, circles, whatever. Um, so, for example, if we are looking at this line segment and we want to find the probability that a random point is chosen is between K and L, right, we're trying to figure out the probability that we choose a point on this part of the line given that we have to choose a point somewhere along the line. So all we're going to do is take the length of each piece and treat that like we would for making our fractions. So the part of the line that we want is KL and that's seven units long. The total of the line includes all three sections, so that's three plus seven plus four. So our probability is seven out of 14, which is the same as one half. So all we're doing is taking the piece of the shape we want divided by the total length of the shape. All right, so for this one, um, looks like it didn't print properly, so what I'll do is go ahead and add in the extra information. Um, so the extra piece of information that did not print was that trains at this station arrive every four minutes. Okay, so we have a train, it arrives every four minutes, and we want to know that if we show up at the station at a random time, what is the probability that we'll have to wait three minutes or more for the train? So if we kind of map this out, the first train leaves the station at some point in time. So train one leaves the station here. And then some point down the line, another train's going to arrive. We said it happens every four minutes. So there's one minute, two minutes, three minutes, and then on the fourth minute, the second train will arrive. So if I show up at the train station, it could be any point in between when train one leaves and train two arrives. So if I arrive anywhere, say I arrive halfway, right? If I arrive at this point in time, I'll have to wait two minutes for the next train to arrive because this is where the first minute ends, this is where the second minute ends, third, and then fourth. If I arrive over here, I just have to wait one minute for the next train, right? Because it's been three minutes since the last train left. If I arrive here, I have to wait a full three minutes. And if I arrive anywhere in between, when the first train leaves and the first minute ends, I'll have to wait more than three minutes. So if I look at that, that's one piece of the line out of a total of four pieces. So I have a one in four chance that I will have to wait at least, or sorry, three minutes or more for the next train. All right, so sometimes instead of using a length, we'll have to use an area to calculate our probability. 
Um, now the, the logic behind it is going to be the same. Um, we're going to take the area of the space that we want divided by the total area of the figure. Um, and we're going to basically decide whether we want length or area based on whatever the, uh, the setup is for the problem that we're doing. So if we look at this example here, we've got a skydiver attempting to land on a target. Um, it's made of three circles. The diameter is two yards long for the middle circle, and each circle on the outside is one yard apart. We want to know the probability that the skydiver will land in the red circle. So if we look at our picture, here's our target. There's three circles, right? So we've got a red, we've got the white circle, and then we've got the blue circle going along the outside. We know that the red circle has a uh, diameter of two, and then each circle after that is one yard spread out, and it wants to know the probability that we land inside of the red circle. And so since we are talking about landing inside of a shape instead of along a line, that means we're going to have to use area. We know that the area of a circle is equal to pi times r squared. So for the red circle, if the diameter is 2, the radius is 1, so the area is just pi. Notice the whole target will fit inside the blue circle. So to find the total area of the figure, we're just going to look at that blue circle. So the blue circle would start in the middle around here, and it would go about to here. So it's basically the radius of all three circles added together. So three. So again, that includes the radius of the red circle plus the extra space in between the rings. So to find that area, we're going to do pi times 3 squared. And then what we're going to do is make a fraction with the small part on top and the total on bottom and reduce it. So the probability that we land inside of the red circle is 1 out of 9. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Only this time, notice they did not give us um, any dimensions, right? They just gave us degrees. So it's going to work the same way as the area, only we just have to remember the total number of degrees for the circle is 360. So the probability that the pointer lands on yellow is 45 degrees out of 360. Let me just reduce that, and it gives us 1 8th. So for the purple region, you notice that's marked as 105 degrees. So we'll do 105. 360, which is going to simplify to 7 out of 24. And now for the slightly more complicated one, we want to know what happened or the probability of the pointer landing in neither the blue nor the red, so I can land anywhere except blue and red. Well, the total is 360. I don't want to count the blue, which is 70 degrees, and I don't want to count the red, which is 50 degrees, but everything else is okay. So 
So to figure out the top, we're just going to subtract the 70 and the 50, so that should give us 240. The total of the circle is still 360. So if we reduce that, we should get two-thirds. All right, that's all we have for today. I'll see you guys next time.